Hey everyone, so a big question we're here to explore the answers to is can you learn a new language as an adult? And today we're here with Claire. Hi. Hi. What points in your life did you pick up these seven languages? I was brought up monolingually. Mm. My parents only spoke Czech to me. I come from a country which is very homogenous, and I come from a very small town. I had never really met a foreigner inside the country, and I was never exposed to foreign languages until I started watching American TV when I was probably, I don't know, 11, 12. I think by the age of 13, I was actually fluent in English. In English yeah. And then I realized I really enjoyed languages. So I started learning French and I mainly picked up French when I was 16 and I went to France. This is more like active, with intention, learning a language, study, routine. I did learn for like two years, so I had the basics. But then when I arrived to France, I didn't understand what people were saying. I didn't know, you know, if that was a one word or one sentence or like three sentences. It was just like noise to me. Sounds like most French relationships that I've heard about. Oh, that's interesting. You don't interesting. know where the beginning, you don't know where the end is. So if you weren't there on site, you feel like um, learning French would have been a very different journey. But being in France, uh, exploring it, traveling, Mm, that really helped you. And this is your third language you're highlighting. So that was my third language. It took me not even half a year, like it took me three and a half months. And my school was pretty flexible. So it was like, if I could do that next year again, mm. I could pick up another language. Okay. And so at the age of 17, I went New to Germany. Challenge. So that's how I got fluent in French and then German. And then I started learning Spanish for four years at high school. I think I'm still fluent, but I just never use it. So it's rusty when I speak it. So these are still uh, commonly known, you know, learning years where mm. some would argue there's an advantage. You're still young enough, you're in a learning environment. Yes, you took an initiative to immerse yourself in the culture, but like, it's impossible after 25. What I heard is that our brains are actually endlessly flexible and even old people at old age, they can retrain themselves right. if we don't use them very actively. Like, yes, they might, you know, become a bit slower, but then you yeah. can regain that plasticity even at a very old age. I am almost at the end of my 20s and I'm currently learning my seventh language. At no point did I tell myself, oh my God, but like, I'm so old now. Like I'm so way past my prime time. Like, no, like where would I get if I, if I had that kind of thinking patterns? I'm not fluent in Mandarin yet, but I can see I'm getting there. Maybe you have a lot of routine, a lot of habits, a lot of intention. What do you tell a 40 year old hoping to learn German tomorrow mm. and they have a background in Time. You know, I observed on myself that I picked up different languages pretty much by myself. I felt like learning languages in adulthood or, you know, in, in a, at a later age was pretty much similar to the way children learn. At least that was my personal experience. And so I wanted to see what the science has to say about that. And so I went to Cambridge specifically to take a course called First and Second Language Acquisition, which basically for an entire year compared how children acquire their first language, so their native language, right. and then comparing how uh, children can acquire a second language um, at a later stage, and then how adults can acquire a second language. And to be honest, I don't really remember what the conclusion of the class was, but like my own conclusion from what I learned in that year was if we want to learn a language, we should try to simulate that as much as possible. So how do children learn? They're so curious, like they spend their whole days just walking around and like, what's that here? And what is that? And how does that work? And they're not afraid to ask questions. They just live in the moment. And when they're curious, they ask. And when they don't know, they try, they say it and they get feedback and they communicate and it's a back and forth, right? Many times when we try to pick up a textbook and start learning, we try to learn entire sentences. Basically, we're too hard on ourselves and we yeah. think it needs to be perfect. And we're scared of- child. Exactly. It's all about that, right? Just have fun with it. Take it easy. Do you feel like you would acquire more languages in your future? I hope so. And the older you get, you don't really feel discouraged by the idea of age with this new acquisition of, of languages, right? Honestly, it never even crossed my mind. Do you think you could give us a few 
solid tips or tactics on this language language learning journey we're all trying to embark on. Number one maybe is curiosity. Don't learn because you think you have to learn. Just what do you want to know? Why do you want to know it, right? Got like it. enjoy it. Yeah. Number two would be befriend your ego. As I said, like if we can be more childlike, if we can be less afraid of making mistakes. Less afraid. Number three would be exposure. You know, either exposing yourself to different sources, but it can also be repetition. For example, listen to your favorite song over and over, or you can use an app like Glossika, right? You just allow your brain to get used to it, basically. It's a whole new concept, it's a whole new way of thinking, so you want your brain to get you know acquainted with the language patterns and the sounds so yeah thank you claire i think it's beautiful and uh, again i'm really hoping we have more chats and uh, we'll see you here again really soon thank you yeah hey guys hope you enjoyed our video uh, please remember to like and subscribe so we can pump out more and again big thanks to claire for joining us today and we hope to have more conversations in the future see you soon bye we're